What is up guys? It's Fanboy from Super Lego Fanboy and today we got a rather different type of Lego Ninjago video for you guys. Uh, if you guys remember I have posted a video of you guys want to see like every single custom Ninjago minifigure that I have made so far. Uh, to, you, to you guys said yes so here they are. I will let you know if these these are custom minifigures that I made myself right there. Uh, these like some of these like uh, Actual minifigures are like slight, like some of these figures are, what to say, uh, customs are slight modifications. So those are not included in this video, or like act, or like, or maybe like some like slight uh paint, small paint hits in this set. Well, in this video. So sorry, Golden Lloyd and Mishago, you are not going to be in this video. But still, overall, very nice minifigures, nonetheless. Uh, if you haven't seen the view of the golden old golden only Lloyd minifigure, which I did with the uh, Crystal King table set, you can check that video right if you if you want to. But overall, let's get into look at some of my custom Ninjago minifigures that I have made so far. So right out of the bat, we got Digi Zane right there. As you can clearly see, he, this was probably what, I think this was my first custom Ninjago minifigure that I have made. As you can clearly see, I gave him Kai's gold, Kai's uh, weapon right there. Two of uh, katanas right there. And a, the same, uh, Digi Ninja Bar. Uh, the torso, I actually printed, I was able to print out the, well, Let's just say I went search on the internet and I was able to print out this piece right the print out and use some glue to glue that some the paper stuff on this torso right there. Um if we remove his helmet, he has his same ninja ninja white face right there. I actually use a silver sharpie and I paint the shoulder arms right there. Um oops. Uh, here's more of that printing I did right there on his back right there for the extra stuff I actually gave him some uh, silver uh, spots on his arm right there and I did a mix of white and silver on this arm I did it with a silver sharpie right there as my first custom Ninjago uh, minifigure I think this was a success so this guy was responsible for for making well all you can see here. So let's get right there. Now here I have one of my personal. Uh, here's one of my favorite custom minute minifigures that I made, and well made, and that is Sally right there. As you know, Lego has never made Sally. Well, actually, Lego has made not. Didn't make these uh, three minifigures up front there. I will get to that guy after Sally. So, Lego, if you're watching the video, here's some ideas what you can do. So, as I was saying, Sally, we still like hear her in Ninjago Crystallize. And I gotta say, this is probably one of my best Ninjago custom videos I made. And actually, I made a short of how you can make Sally. If you want to check that video right now. Uh, short right now you can pause this video right now and check out that short right now for if you remember in the short I actually gave her a banjo but in, but I was able to find a guitar and a microphone so but you know the downside is I kind of this is not the right guitar and but still this is probably the closest thing I can I could ever find overall I'm really satisfied with how this minifigure has turned out now here we have um, one of my most recent minifigures that I had recently made, and that is Nero, the master of mine. Um, just like Zane, I was able to print out his uh, torso on, on online. Uh, same for the back right there, and I used these these purple, these transparent purple pieces to represent his mind powers, right there. And for his hair, I actually bought this white hair piece right there. And I used some black sharpie to make that lot, that black uh, stripe down his hair. And I actually think that turned out pretty well. So, I am 
So I'm still going, but still I'm tr going to try to get that real Nero minifigure. Uh, he uses, uh, this minifigure uses the gamer champion uh, head right there. He has that goatee right there. Overall, one of my recent minifigures, I think was a big success. Right there. Now here we have people, one of, well, the most viewed uh, minifigures that I've made a short of. And that is Fuji Dub right there. Lego has never made a Fuji Dub minifigure right there. Well, I'm, I, so Lego, I really hope, so I really hope you guys would, well, that video, well, that short I made, hit, hit, hope was like, had like 1k views already, because I guess a lot of people like Fuji Dub. I use the bird wings from the chicken guy suit. And I use the head from the Cyrus Borg mini from the overboard attack set. Right there. Um, I was able to remove his secondary, uh, his secondary face right there with some, uh, with the eraser from a pencil right there. Which I think was pretty well. For his, uh, mask, I was able to use some paper, scissors, uh, glue, and a black sharpie right there. I was, I put some black sharpie on his little feet to represent his talents, but I think they have worn off. So, yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. But overall, a, a popular minifigure on this channel that I have made. Now here we have uh, Faith right there. Just her unmasked uh, heavy metal disguise. Um, as you can see, I gave her a katana right there. To represent her from season 10's uh, hunt, the uh, March of Yoni right there. Because if you remember, she was grab holding a katana to help the ninjas fight the Oni in Ninjago. Uh, I think this was my second custom minifigure that I made. But basically, I just used the torso and legs from the heavy metal figure. I used the, the spooky girl minifigure head. And used this uh, accurate uh, hair piece right there. Uh, whoops. Now, Lego has made a, tried to make a Lego face minifigure in a foil pack, but they didn't use this hair piece. They used the, a wrong hair piece, so this is the best I could for faith, my faith minifigure. Overall, I think this is a pretty solid uh, minifigure right there. Now, moving on to uh, these three right there. So, if you guys, well, you guys remember if you go to a Lego store, they have this area where you can build your own minifigures. Well, this year, Lego has made some nin stuff to make your own Ninjago minifigure. So that's what I kind of did. I got some of my own Ninjago minifigures. Aaron, uh, Sora, and this uh, student. Female uh, student right there. Um, so we'll take a look at Aaron first. As you can see, I gave him a, a teapot right there. Um, he, he does not have uh, any dual leg, anything on his legs. The torso is pretty nice done. Um, so, yeah, right there. No secondary face because of his hair piece. And he has a really nice face right there. And, he, let me say he might have some markings on there. Like Kai. Overall, this is a really nice figure that I, I picked up from the Lego store right there. Now, here we have Sora. Although, I found out that her real name is actually Anna. Which is okay. Now, I'm guessing this is like an urban Sora, I'm guessing, right there. Because, um, she has some of her bare skin, uh, well, her arm right there. I gave her some dark blue legs right there. Um, she has her golden arm. And I gave her for a weapon, I gave her Lloyd's uh, sword right there. Now, I don't know about Sora, but she just reminds me so much from Buck of Bucky Barnes from, like, Marvel. Because, if you remember, Bucky has that metal arm right there. So does Sora right there. I don't know how she got this metal arm. But I hope we, I hope we found out. We will find out in Ninjago's Dragon Rising Part Two. I hope. Uh, her hair piece is nicely done, but this is inaccurate to the show. But uh, this is probably the cheapest way you can get this hair piece and Aaron's hair. The other way is in that Ninjago Chief Doc set, which I will try to get my hands on. Uh, her head is nicely done. Uh, she does not have a secondary face right there. And the last minifigure we got is this female uh, student right there. 
as you can clearly see, I gave her a chicken. And her hairpiece is nice, we, it's in this very nice orange color. Uh, she is one of the few minifigures that has a secondary face, which is nicely done. Uh, printing on her is pretty nicely done. Same on the back right there. And, yeah, I think this is a pretty solid, uh, well, a reasonably good, uh, minifigure. So, overall thoughts about this custom minifigure collection? I think this is starting to turn out pretty well. I mean, some of my favorites are Sally, uh, Nero, uh, DJ Jane. Uh, well, actually, all of them are, are pretty good. I can't decide which one's my favorite. But, um, what is your custom, what is your favorite custom Ninjago minifigure that I made? Let me know in the comment section down below. And speaking of comments, put a comment down below if you what what Ninja custom mythic you want me to make next. So that would really help. So that was it guys. This was the view, this was a look at every single custom Ninjago minifigure that I've made so far. Uh leave a comment which one's your favorite and and which Ninjago minifigure you want me to see me make next. Uh please like, share, subscribe, turn on notifications bell so you won't miss out any more awesome videos. Thanks for watching everybody. Take care and I'll see you next time.